In this video, we'll cover how to get up and riding on skis or a snowboard. Before launching your kite, which we showed you in our previous video, make sure that the wind is not too strong. Five to 10 knots is ideal. Get comfortable with flying the kite in the different positions in the wind window before putting on skis or a snowboard. Nine o'clock through three o'clock, get comfortable with how the kite steers. Then practice flying the kite into the power zone. This will allow you to feel the power that can be generated. The lower you dive the kite into the power zone, the more power it creates. Now try flying the kite while moving around. Practice activating the release system when the kite is in flight and then relaunching the kite as previously shown. Getting up on a snowboard. It is important to have the correct body position to complete your board start. Put your kite at 12 o'clock, keep your legs bent with your back leg bent more than the front leg. Keep your shoulders close to your knees. This way your body is easily pulled up and over the board. Turn the kite down into a power stroke. As you load for the downwind power stroke, point your front leg and the board downwind. This ensures you do not get pulled up and straight over the toe side of your board. Once you have mastered getting up and riding, try to continue riding by edging against the kite to create power or by flying the kite in a smooth continuous wave pattern. Practice getting up on the board in both directions. Getting up on skis. Starting from a standing position and with your kite at 12 o'clock, step into your skis. Keeping your legs slightly bent and with more weight being placed on your downwind ski, turn the kite down into a power stroke. Keep your arms relaxed and slightly bent. Also turn your body from the waist towards the kite. As the kite powers up, counter the power by slightly leaning upwind to avoid getting pulled over. Keep your upwind knee bent and push on your downward ski. Your downwind ski leg will be straighter to ensure the edge is fully engaged with the surface. Once you have mastered riding, try to continue riding along by edging against the kite to create power or by flying the kite in a smooth continuous wave pattern. Practice starting on your skis in both directions. Once you are up and riding, you need to learn to control the speed and the power of the kite. Pushing the bar away from you will depower the kite and allow you to slow down. Pulling the bar towards you powers up the kite and allows you to go faster. Flying the kite higher up in the wind window slows you down while flying the kite lower towards the ground gives you more power and speed. You can control your speed by adjusting your body angle towards the wind. Point your skis or snowboard slightly more upwind to slow down or more downwind to go faster. Combining the position of your kite, the control of the bar, body position and angle of your skis or snowboard is key to a smooth ride. Once you've picked up enough speed, you can practice adjusting one or any other of these techniques to find a comfortable, locked-in position. Be flexible with your body position. Let the harness take the power from the kite. Use only your arms to control the kite. The more relaxed your body is, the smoother you will ride. Being able to stop is just as important as starting to ride. Slowly bring the kite up to 12 o'clock and depower the control bar by pushing it away from you while edging your skis or snowboard upwind. The kite will lose its power and you will gradually slow down and stop. Check out the next video in this series where we explain how to properly pack away your kite.